Wow, I really like I'm going to play karate. So um, I'm going to see how this vlog is going to look. I mean, I'm going to see it with you when I edit it at the very end. But I am heading out now. This is a whole a fashion week vlog. So I'll just take you with me where I'm going, what's happening, anything I go to, just how it how it is. So I am going to my Teresa. They're having a styling suite at um, uh, the Carlisle Hotel. So I'm going to go over there. I don't know what it's going to be like. Um, I have a feeling, I think it's going to be seeing um, pieces that they've got coming out for the next season. I'm wearing my, actually this is Ganny. So Ganny and Ganny. The top, the wide leg trousers, the Bottega Jody, and I'm wearing a cropped um, jacket. This is by Jacquemus, plain black. Um, and I was looking for something just like this. So anyway, I will take you a look with me. I just saw this and I loved it. It's more covered, but it has slits on both sides. Full sleeves. It's really cute. I love it. It's, oh, I love it. Yeah. See, you knew. You had your eye. Okay, so I'm at Carolina Herrera getting fitted for the show in a few days. And I picked up this dress and I think I'm gonna just wear um, a coat over it, just wear it open. So you just have like this flash of all this yellow, like peeking through. I just wanted to give a little peek. Here's the samples. And I picked this dress. It has like this really ruffled neck here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll see if I can pin it up a little bit and I'll have my hair, I think, either in a slip back ponytail or just like a low bun, but very slipped back hair. So all you see is this neck drama. But I like it. Oh, on the back. It's just completely open. It's so good. Right, I'm heading out to a presentation now. Um, got to be there in about half an hour. So it's on for like two hours, the whole thing from start to finish. So you can just pop in during that time window. So let me go out now. I'm wearing basically all orange. Um, the name of this jacket escapes me. I'll put it on the screen. This is uh, Aritzia tank top. And I'm wearing it layered on top of my Ganny leopard print polo this is a vintage skirt suede i got it last year at brimfield flea market and then i have on my nikes and some socks and my white accessories uh, glasses are loewe and then the little bottega okay that's it i'm wearing that later i think i think <laughs> to the Bronx and Banco show. It is one of their dresses and it's absolutely, I feel like a mermaid in it, it's amazing. So I tried to do my makeup to kind of match it. Anyway, let me get dressed. So we can go.
inside. I just got changed and I can't decide if I should use this bag. Does it look weird with this bag? Does it look, what do you think, actually, Sam? I think it looks good. I, I think can't I decide if I should. Yeah? The purple definitely looks better. Okay, let me just see the other one, just to see. Because I was originally going to do this, but I feel like this looks kind of safe. It's fashion week. Go all out. Oh, upside down. <laughs> so which one? Comment below. I'll, I'll have decided by the time you comment. But, so this one, I think. I'm thinking this one. Okay. Now I'm going to Hermit Lang presentation. So I will take you guys with me. I hope you guys are enjoying coming with me, by the way. Okay, I am done for the day. Um, oh, it wasn't too bad actually today. It was um, a couple of presentations and there was a show as well. Um, I know a lot of it is like vertical footage. It's just that I'm tossing between Instagram posts and stories and stuff like that. So that's all vertical. So I'm just repurposing that content onto this um, YouTube video. So I hope you don't mind too much. But I'm done. Everything's done. I had to come home and finish some work as well. Just um, just content that was due for certain things. But I'm done now. Um, so I'm going to relax. I'm going to remove all the makeup. A smoky eye. And then um, get this off. This is by Ronnie Kobo, by the way, this dress. I've had it for about three years now, I think. I love it. It's one of my favourite dresses. I just love it. It's so nice. And then I had on, obviously, the, um, the Fendi baguette. I'm done, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello, Coverture. This is Karen, aka Karen Britchick. Fashion Week! Hi. Quick outfit change. So that is Karen Britchick signing off. Take care, my loves. Okay, so it is another day of fashion week and I'm heading out. Um, I've got some stuff on the railing, so don't mind that too much. So I wanted to quickly show you what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear sneakers, not these ones, just another pair, just a pair of Nikes. And then I'm wearing with it, this brand is um, Le Jantz, I think. I'll put it on the screen for you. And um, it is their lime green citrus colored uh, pant and the trench coat which is like a, what do you call it? It's like a PVC kind of material. So it's really bright, but I love how bright it is. And then underneath I've got on this Acris, Acris um, bralette. Everything is on loan, so it's all going back next week. <laughs> but it's really pretty. I really like the, the copper that runs through it. It kind of goes with the hair. And then the Bottega with the white sneakers. And that's it. Oh, and the, sh the glasses, I'll probably wear the Loewe's. <laughs>
loved it. It was so inspiring. So, yeah, great. And I think, I think it's mum. She's literally there. She stood up and she was like, hi. So it's Sunday morning, day four of New York Fashion Week, and look what we woke up to. <laughs> I had no idea it was going to snow. day four I think and um, I just shot this which is amazing it's by Acris it is a top it's actually like an apron see so cool and it's got um, little pockets right there um, which I like um, but the only thing is and look at it it's gorgeous I love the um, matching trousers it comes with the only thing is it's too small so check out my TikTok where you can see this moment Anyway, um, I'm going to get changed. These are all sample sizes, and I think they're all meant for models. That's not me. Anyway, I'm going to get changed. We're going to two presentations, and that's going to be a wrap today. Tomorrow's going to be good. Tomorrow's like Carolina Herrera, and they gave me a dress. Anyway. We go up to a size 44. Wow. Yes. Finally. So inclusive. Finally. That's what this brand is about. Somebody comes up with a size that's beyond the usual. The satin is just so elevated. Classic. Yeah. Satin is just so elevated. It just this adds a nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's great. Friday 
which was day two of fashion week when I wore that mermaidy dress it was I think it was like 60 degrees so everyone was going oh my god it feels like spring it was perfect um, especially for wearing that dress but today well it snowed yesterday and so there's still snow on the ground and it's still cold and I've got to wear this backless dress I know <laughs> problems you don't want to hear but it's just um, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to wear it and then uh, you know show, show it off completely when the temperature's like this but I, mean, I have got a coat with me so I think I might just have to I don't know pretend what's that saying what Rihanna said fake it okay let me finish my makeup off and I can get dressed so I did my hair slicked back and I'm just trying something with a fake ponytail that I braided just plaited it and I just wrapped it around my own hair this is why you need hair and makeup this is exactly why you need hair and makeup people because mm -hmm. right now this is true DIY I'm just doing this all myself ah uh, all right, I think I can. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. If I do say so myself, you know what? It's good enough. It's good enough, I think. What do you think, Michael? How's it look? It's great. Looks all right. I like the view I got. Oh, God. No comment. It's not that bad. Is there any foil sticking out? You know, that yellow thing. Just don't, just don't want that to show. He said it's not showing. Well, the, thing is, the more you poke at it, the more it shows. Okay. Shall I use a pin just to put it, just to make sure it doesn't come out? You know, pop out. What are you talking about? That, that same thing that I'm talking about. It's deeply buried in there. You're not going to... It's not going to come out? You have to look to see it. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, <laughs> Come on, babe. We've got to do it quick. We've got, uh, we've got to be quick. I'm running late. That's it. Just stick it on there. Super glue that crap. That's it. <laughs> okay, we got it. Thank goodness for fashion tape. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking of. You can see the earring. It's just like a cuff. This is going to be my final look. Um, like I said, it's a bit cold outside. I'm going from the car to walk into the show, but um, I figure I'll go with my vintage um, top coat that I picked up in Paris. The back of it drops. I have to lint roll that before we get out. But I like the way the collar stands up over it. I actually have safety pinned it about three times to make it stand higher on my neck because it was kind of falling, falling down. So I prefer, I think it just looks better like that. And also the dress doesn't normally have this. I just literally took a little elastic band thing for your hair. Um, and I just kind of ruched it up, the skirt on one side, just to give it some kind of, just a leg, some kind of drama. Because I feel like the length of it is kind of not right on me. Um, and I'd rather have some kind of create a shape to it. So that's what I've done just to make it more me and especially with the lace up boots. And I think that plays well with this. I'm just going to carry my little square Chanel caviar flat bag. I'll just hold it in my hand like a clutch. And that's the whole look. And I'll, obviously I'll take this off when we um, actually get, get to the show. That's it. Makeup. All of it DIY. Not bad. Pat myself on the back. <laughs> Okay, so we are on our way. Um, yeah, I think I've got everything. The bag, the vintage Chanel. That is it. We're meeting the photographer in the, like close to the venue. And hopefully we'll be able to take some pictures before we get in and hopefully afterwards as well. Anyway, um, we'll see you there.
you asked on my Instagram, a little bit on my YouTube as well, but more on Instagram, how do I do my makeup? The smoky eye, you're asking, how do I do that? This is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Now, this is basically almost like glue for your shadow. And it basically makes your shadow last all day until you take it off. McGrath Lab <clears throat> Eyeshadow Palette, and it is, what is it? Mothership Mega Celestial o Odyssey. I'm gonna take a screenshot of it. And I'm gonna go in with this color. This will be in the corners as well, but I'm gonna use this color. And I use, I think, this brown, the matte browns, just to soften in the socket. I got a pencil just to darken everything. Going into that green one that I showed you. This is for Fallout. And I'm just gonna cover it all over my lid. And I pat it on quite heavily. I'm not brushing, I'm just kind of patting it and packing it onto my, onto my lid. Don't mind if it's a little bit messy in the beginning because you're gonna blend that out afterwards. Let me do my other eye. And then I'm gonna go in with the brown. It's this soft brown right here. Soft dome brush. Put it back under the eye to catch the fallout. And just doing like, you know, car wiper, windshield wiper strokes as well. Hold like the end sort of of the brush because that means that you're not gonna go heavy handed. It's like a tip I got from a makeup artist. And it's true because you've got slight less control and then see, I'm just kind of smoking out the edges. And just go very, very, very lightly though. I want it to look very blurry and diffused. This be my, my how I do smoky eyes for, for forever. Okay, and then I finish with mascara. I pick anything. I've got Pat McGrath, which is probably my favorite one. It's called Dark Star Mascara in this gold tube. Epic. I've got this new one from YSL. I haven't really tried it, so I can't really say too much about it. Laura Mercier does a really good one. Well, all these ones were PR gifted, just so you know, for transparency. Although I'm using Benefit, I bought this myself. This is like the mascara. Oh, did I drop? So this is basically it. And then I just finished with, I've got this, uh, it's called Peaches by MAC. It's almost finished, but it's one of my favorites. It's like an orangey, peachy color. And I love it. It just gives a nice flush to the cheeks. I'm trying to put on my apples. It's not really for contouring just for brightening the cheek area. That's how I kind of do smoky eyes. Let me know in the comments if that helped. And I'll leave um, in the description box all the, the products I used. I forgot to show you. This is what I'm gonna use in the inner corners. It's this bright green one right here. When you wet it, it, it makes it more intense. And I literally just go right there, boom. And then, boom. And then, boom. Upper and lower. There in the inner corners. Am I? Love it. All right, let me get dressed. <laughs> so this is the Ganny dress that I'm going to wear. It's my feather dress and I like it so much. It's, oops, it's a hanger dropping. It's like a nice metallic green. I think it's so pretty. So, all right, let me get dressed. Okay, I think I'm gonna change my mind. <laughs> I haven't worn this and I figured why not? Because I've been wearing dresses every single day. No, actually, no, tell a lie. I have worn the, um, the, the neon um, suit piece that was loaned, but I quite like the idea because since I wore a dress, why don't I wear like a white suit? So I've got these ultra wide long, yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this. Um, pants from Jacquemus. I've had these for a couple of years now I, and I have them in black. A lot of you know this about these. Um, I'm gonna wear like a, a platformy shoe. And then I've got this Zara men's blazer and I'll wear it over it and I might just belt it. And that's gonna be my vibe. Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. Yes. This is the jacket so I'm just kind of gonna crisscross it to kind of cinch it in a bit and I'm gonna wear the blow over belt so it's got like a strong black and white look so I'm just gonna tie it as tight as I can so they actually kind of lure the meats in the middle I'm wearing this in a size large the belt it comes in small medium and large and I got this size because I wanted the ability to wear it over coats as well if I want I'm going to swing it to the back so it looks like a clean look, almost like a kimono effect. And that is it. See? So you can't see the bra, but if it does show, it's just going to be a little flash of black. And then I've got the wide leg pants on. I know I'm headless, but you'll see me properly in a minute. But that's the whole look. I love it. God, I look like I'm going to a karate lesson. <laughs> All right, so this is the finished look the reason why i, I um, don't show my natural hair out is because it gives me the versatility to 
practice and play rather, not practice, but with different hairstyles depending on what the outfit is. Because I don't want to have to do this to my own hair, like blow it out and then try and create beachy waves. It just makes no sense. It's just too much stress on my hair because I used to do that before and my hair suffered for it. So I'm really happy that I just, you know, look after it, condition it, plait it, and then I just wear whatever hair I'm feeling in the mood for. Big curly hair, wavy beachy hair. Bob, <laughs> which is probably something I'm gonna do next. Anyway, so this is the look. Wow, I really like I'm going to play karate. I'm gonna call this the karate kid look. I don't care. <laughs> bag, what do I wear? Do I wear a white bag or a, or a black bag? That's what I can't decide. Anyway, and I'm wearing a beret that I got from ThreadUp. And on my feet, I'm wearing um, like a platform sneaker. This is, these are old ones from um, UGG. And that's it, that's a whole lot, I love this. I really do, I like this a lot. I feel like I should do like a strong red lip. Didn't think about that. Ugh, but then I didn't realize I was gonna wear this outfit. Anyway, let me just choose a bag and then get out of here. <laughs> I went with a white bag. That way, the Jody. that way the focus is on the belt and everything else is white. Apart from that, the hat. That's it, done, I'm ready to go. We are stuck in traffic. Oh my god, look, and there's more traffic ahead of us. And it's already 10 o'clock and the show is at 10 o'clock.